Hey guys, welcome back to Master B. I would like to do a video uh, to teach you how to use a VDG printer. So this video will teach you how to do a pre-treatment on a dark t-shirt and a white t-shirt. So before you do a pre-treatment on the t-shirt, you need to prepare the t-shirt. Now this is the dark t-shirt. And the t-shirt for VDG printing is very important. So first, uh, must be 100% uh, cotton. So if you have some not, not good one cotton, the quality is not so good because if it's a heating press machine, if it's heating press, the quality is not so good. So first we strongly recommend it that the customer must uh, take the good t-shirt with 100% cotton for white t-shirt and black t-shirt. So this is the first one. And the second one, you must uh, be sure the uh, weight it's over 180, 180 gram for, for, for the weight, for better quality print. And also the third one is must be sure the t-shirt is without, without any uh, pre-treatment by the manufacturer. So you know some, some uh, t-shirt manufacturer, they, they, pr they produce the blank t-shirt, they have some pre-treatment like silicone, like a pressure oil at the surface of the t-shirt. So if the t-shirt is not uh, pure, uh, if you print it by a DDG machine, you will get a fade color and the washing is not so good. So the t-shirt is very, very important to get a good DDG print, especially for the dark t-shirt. So take a good dark, good t-shirt for suitable for your DDG printing business. And you can also ask a Master B for more technology to, to how to choose a good t-shirt for DDG printing. And also this the wet t-shirt also must be first uh, 100% pure cotton and also uh, over 180 gram for the weight and also uh, pure without any pre-treatment or silicone uh, coating, pitch coating by the manufacturer. So this is very important for t-shirt, you must pre-treatment -pre and prepare the t-shirt for print. And also the silicone paper, the silicone paper is used for do the heating press after you pre-treatment and, and also after you do the printing. The silicone paper is also uh, very important. First, you, it must be brand new, it's clean, and also one, one new silicone paper, you can only use the no, less, no more than five t-shirts for one piece of the silicone paper. So if you use it for over three to or five times, you need to throw away and use a new one to get the, the better quality. So this is the silicone paper. And also the, the spray gun, the spray gun. Uh, spray gun is for, uh, for, for pre-treatment t-shirt surface for the coating, uh, so sorry, for, for the pre-treatment. And also you can adjust the, the, the nozzle for the pre-treatment and also this is the, the volume, the volume, adjust the volume for, for, for t-shirt to, to do the pre-treatment uh, to the spray gun. And also you can load, you can move out the bottle to fill in the, uh, fill in the pre-treatment liquid and also you must get the pre-treatment liquid and now must be pay attention to that we provide two kinds of different pre-treatment one is for like this this one is used for dark t-shirt pre-treatment and this is like a little bit pre -pre uh, like a little bit uh, transparent is used for light t-shirt print so these two is used for different one for dark t-shirt one for light t-shirt like white t-shirt and uh, this one is used for dark t-shirt like black and the dark color. So this is the pre-treatment you must prepare before you do the pre-treatment pre process. And also then you need to prepare the heating press machine. You can use the automatic and use the manually, no problem. But you must be sure the temperature can over can get maximum 165 degree for, for uh, pre-treatment temperature. And the size, the better use the strong command to take the size for 40, no less, no more than 40 centimeter times 50 centimeter for heating press. So this is a heating press machine and the silicone paper, t-shirt, spray gun, and the pre-treatment you need to prepare before you do the pre-treatment. After you uh, do the pre prepare job already, we can start to do the pre-treatment. So we need to find out the board like this on glass, anyone, anything is okay, and just um, keep this flat and brand new and also it's clean and put on the desk like this and not straight like this we must a little bit angle like uh, like this 
Okay, then we find out a t-shirt. We put a t-shirt like this. We put a t-shirt like this to <coughs> put honey on the on the board like this. Okay, make the flight and a little bit bending. Then we go to use the the heating the spray gun machine and we put the liquid inside. For example, this tissue is the black tissue, so I fear what I fear is ins inside is the dark tissue per treatment, and we pop on the spray gun and we start to spray. We spray like this. First by <coughs> horizontal. Like this. So, always customer ask me, must be how how many uh, milliliter of of uh, perchimate we need to spray on the surface of the T-shirt. So, how to say the first the, the quantity of the perchimate is depend on the T-shirt T-shirt material is 120 or 180 gram. So then the more the better weight, the maximum weight, uh, for example, 220. 220 or over 200 gram, gram need to purchase more uh, per treatment. And the quantity of the per treatment is, is dependent on the weightness of the t-shirt. We just keep, after we spray, we must be sure it's weight enough and no dropping down. That uh, the per treatment not dropping is enough. And also keep its weight, that's enough. So. This is the procedure to pre-treatment the T-shirt. Not when we take it up, it's not dropping. If it's dropping, it's too much. And if you put too much uh, pre-treatment, first waste your money, and also uh, the washing is not so good. And also, if you spray not enough pre-treatment, then you cannot get a good wet ink density print. So the the spray process is very very important to get the good uh, DDG printing quality. So after we did the pre-treatment, we need to take it out, the T-shirt, and we put on the spray, uh, put on the uh, heating press machine. Like this. And we use the silicone paper to put on the top of the t-shirt, make the flight, and we set the, we set the heating press machine, the, the temperature by 150 uh, degree, and also the time we set by the heating press, the, for heating the pre-treatment, we set by 20, 20 seconds or 25 depend on the uh, material. But the maximum is, not maximum is half minutes. For example, for example I take it for 20, 25 seconds and 150 degree. And then we pull, pull inside and we push down the heating press. And we're just waiting for 20 uh, seconds. So the pre-treatment liquid, the pre-treatment liquid, the, the quantity for pre-treatment and also temperature, and it's very important. When it's around, it's automatically coming up. Okay, so after that, we get good pre-treatment for back t-shirt. Like this. You can see the t-shirt is finished, is after pre-treatment. And as we can see here, it's a little bit, uh, little bit uh, gray, and here it's a little bit it's like a pure color. But and the customer always asks us to be, so if I print, we still get this edge. But don't worry, after you print and you wash, this will be gone, no problem, it's transparent. It can be washed. If without wet ink, it will be washed out, so it doesn't matter. So this is the treatment after 
uh, teach you after pre-treatment and process by heating press machine. So we can okay. Now I teach you how to do the pre-treatment on the lab T-shirt, like a wet T-shirt. So first, uh, we put the T-shirt on the board like this, and we use the heating press, the the spray gun, and fill in the wet T-shirt pre-treatment, not black T-shirt pre-treatment. It's different. And we, then we go to spray on the surface of the T-shirt. <laughs> Just also be sure it's not dropping down the liquid and uh, keep its weight as enough. It's not dropping down and also its weight enough. Then we put the t shirt on the surface of the heating press machine. And then put the silicone paper on the top of the. This used the more than five turns, so we need to change a new one. So we take a new thin, the silicone paper, and then we put it on the top of the T-shirt. And then we heat in the T-shirt by 30 seconds as before. Okay, test up. We it's coming up. Then we go to print. So the, the lab t-shirt is processed, pre-treatment and heating place before print is ready. Thank you.